I, you know, the other thing about this is, is that if it was easy, if it were easy, everyone would do it. There's a lot of shitty things that you have to do. You have to be willing to do the unfun things. The fun mm-hmm. things are painting a painting to like getting into like just painting, creating. But there's a lot of things that go on that are not fun, that are just like tasks that are mundane, like making color charts and just kind of studying images like how other artists have solved problems like there's just so much like learning that goes on that's not necessarily fun um and again the same thing is like making paintings that suck and like making them over and over and over again and the part of this journey which is difficult that I'll I'll share with you is that like you know the whole creative process is not like this linear thing it's like it ebbs and flows and and I've already I've gotten used to being at this for like 9 years now there are certain phases in my creative journey where like nothing is working I'm like you know part of it is that I'm trying to push through to do something that's that's challenging for me and then other times it's just like for for whatever reason I'm like I just can't get this painting to work and then the next painting doesn't work and the next one and that that's really disheartening that's difficult like mentally um to t- kind of do that but you just show up you show up anyway and you just do it um just like with anything there's motivation is not that's for amateurs like you don't you don't come to your easel when you're motivated you come because that's your job and that's what you have to do and um you know sometimes I have to go back to the site where I'm like I can't get something to work I need to go back and do a study it's just it's just really being stubborn as hell and tenacious as hell to just kind of you're like you just show up even if every painting is in like the burn pile like I feel like I've kind of recently gone through this where I'm just like I don't know why I'm like I I just you know you get the highest highs where it's like you make everything's flowing you're making like you know 10 paintings that are awesome and you're putting them out in the world and they're selling and they're getting awards and then whatever comes up must come down so like you're gonna end up with another you're gonna sometimes get into a little bit of an artist block where it's like yeah you, you kind of don't know what to do next but you still show up you still go out you try to get inspiration you go out and plan air paint you just you fucking show up like that's it like I don't know what else to say like and and eventually you will push through the other side so I don't freak out anymore when I get into these phases because I know that they're always going to end as long as I don't quit because the only way to fail is to quit and um and that's that's my wisdom I guess for for this whole thing you know yeah because I mean I know like a while back I would freak out and be like that's it the well is dry I'm like I've painted everything that I can paint I'm like of course that's not true that's that's ridiculous but you get you freak out because it's like when you don't have any more ideas I'm like your career is over I'm like you have no more paintings to paint but yeah you just have to kind of go with it you have to accept that that's part of the creative process you're not always going to come up with the you know this like million dollar idea um, but you will, and not every painting is going to be amazing. There are paintings that will be very good, paintings that will be good, decent, you know, and then there'll be every so often you'll make, you'll make like a slam dunk, you'll be like a home run. You'll, you'll make an awesome painting. And, and if you hold that as your standard of all the time, you're going to be very disappointed because that's just not realistic. At least not for me, at least not for me in my phase. I mean, I know some artists, they come out with these like blockbuster, I'm like, I can't believe they make these. And I'm sure behind the scenes, you know, they make some duds, but, and I, and I know that that's pretty realistic. You know, I don't think anyone just like magically, you know, just waves a magic wand and just creates these, you know, award-winning paintings. So Mm -hmm. it's just, you know, comes in cycles and you just have to kind of go with that.